Hi, right, hello and welcome. Today we're just going to take a quick look at this particular uh, derivation that you see up here on the screen. Uh, this one is kind of fun because it's uh, it can be a whole mess if you get it uh, wrong. So what we have here is we have four premises. One premise is A, premise two is D or E, premise three is if D, then B and C, and premise four is if E, then B and not C. And we're trying to get to A and B. Now we have A, that's great, but our B's are all sort of clustered up in here and it's a whole mess to get them out. Uh, sort of by themselves, but there is a way of doing that. So in this case, we don't want to work backwards because there is no decent backwards approach. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to take this disjunction on number two. We're going to select that. Uh, actually, so first we're going to say that this is a disjunction elimination. This is the disjunct that we want to take apart, and now we have to tell it what is it that we want to get as the result, and we want to get A and B. So now when we apply this, we get our two boxes, right? So if we assume that D is true and if we assume that E is true. Now for disjunction elimination, remember, uh, you have to start off with the two disjuncts in different boxes, and then you have to get to the same conclusion. So our conclusion in both cases is A and B. So we have a... Uh, conditional statement here, if D, then B and C, and here I have D. So that will let me eliminate the antecedent here. That will leave me with B and C. Great. My line one is my first premise, which is just A. From over here, I can pull B. So I'm going to select uh, conjunction elimination of the left conjunct, so that will get B out of there. And then I can uh, do conjunction introduction, A and B, and ta-da, there we go. I have that. Now we essentially just uh, repeat the same procedure here for, uh, for the second disjunct, which is E. And so when we do this, we're going to end up with B and not C. The C part doesn't matter at all because we don't use it. So again, I'm going to do conjunction elimination on the left. That will let me pull B out of there. And then I have conjunction introduction, A and B. And ta-da, there you go. That is the entire procedure. Not that bad. Uh, if you've got questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments or shoot me an email. And I'll see all of you next time.